Tomorrow marks a month since the murder of 37-year-old Rachel Morin. The prolonged search for a suspect is prompting some to question why police haven't announced more progress in the case. Fox 45's Rebecca Pryor has the story. Yeah, there's still more questions than answers concerning the mysterious murder of Rachel Marin. Despite two weeks ago, police announcing that they had found DNA evidence from the suspect that linked him to prior crimes. Tonight, the search for that suspect still dragging on. This DNA evidence has come back as a match. More than two weeks ago, the latest update from the Harford County Sheriff's Office pointing to a potential suspect. We don't have any clue where he could be. But so far, this surveillance video of a man taken clear across the country with his back turned and his face out of view hasn't led to an arrest. In fact, we, have, we know nothing more about him other than he was in L.A. and committed that crime in March and he was here in August and uh, is the murderer. We believe to be the murderer of Rachel Moore. It's causing some Bel Air residents to question. This is horrific, shocking. If Rachel Marin's case has the potential to go cold. I worry very much that the perpetrator of this act, this heinous act, is still out there. I think everybody's awaiting answers. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a hot topic around, around town. Yeah. Growing more desperate as the investigation continues to drag Marin's sister, Rebecca, taking to social media, writing, quote, if this person is not identified soon, he will do it again. And in another post, she's requesting the community's help distributing these flyers with a description of the crime and a picture of the alleged perpetrator displayed. Meanwhile, I've seen the patrols go up and down, and they're pretty, very, pretty regular. Law enforcement continue to keep a close eye on the Ma and Pa Trail. I think of Bel Air as a close knit community. As the mother of five's mysterious murder reaches its one month mark, that sense of community, that sense of safety has been shattered. In that time, the sheriff's office says they've been working around the clock, sorting through more than 500 tips, and they're far from taking their foot off the gas. In a statement, a spokesperson for the sheriff's office writing apart, quote, this case is far from cold. There are still leads being pursued and technological evidence still being processed. They're also calling on the community to keep the tips coming in, going on to say, quote, no matter how insignificant they feel the information they have might be, it could be the piece of information that unlocks the case. I would expect uh, the authorities would do everything humanly possible uh, to try to restore that sense of uh, community. These investigations take time. You know, uh, it's better to do everything right and get everything correct before we make our own decisions. Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.